Hello, and welcome back to episode 4 of the most Giga Chad wizard in Dark and Darker. With this kit I have on, I was able to go from the starting 6 strength a wizard has into 30 strength. Check out episode 1 for more of a build explanation and how I got each piece of gear. The link is in the description. The total kit is worth around 13,000 gold. Also, if you're wondering how I have plus three all attributes on some of my gear, all these games were from the previous wipe. I bear gifts, brothers. I bear protection potions for your travels. I'm not geared at all, man. <laughs> that guy knew. He saw his, he thought I was default and they checked my gear and then he played it off for the other people. He said, this guy is not geared, guys. <laughs> oh, this one again. All right, well now. Now we know to. Heal this guy. Man. For the fourth game, we get the same spawn we did as last episode. And like I explained in that game, this spawn is pretty good as long as you clear the mobs as fast as possible because you have two potential shrines that you can grab, a for sure protection shrine that you can grab, and potentially a speed shrine as well. So pretty nice spawn, but this game goes a lot differently than last episode. Someone spawned over there? It looks like someone did spawn over there. And all I gotta say is that I am a very friendly guy. When someone asks to be friendly in this game, it's very hard for me to say no. But with hindsight bias, I wish I would have just started attacking here. I have never once backstabbed anyone in this game. If I'm going to be friendly with you, then I'm gonna be friendly. I'm not gonna try to be friends and then kill you later on. It's hard to be friendly as a wizard because even in the Giga Chad God set, I am still super squishy. Wishy. Maybe there is a lesson to be learned here, but I will let you guys watch and see what happens for yourself. Hello, brothers. I'm friendly, sir. I mean, I, I yeah, sure, yeah. All right. There's gonna be three portals out. Okay. You want to stick together and clear the rest of the lobby? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was just uh, seeing. <laughs> as long as wizard's down. I, I'm down, brother, but I'm just, you know. Just... No, I'm just looking at the orb. Is that purple? It's a, uh, it's, it's a color. What the yeah. fuck is that orb? Is that like legendary? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little scared now. I don't know. It's, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a green orb. It, it's it's a default orb, but yeah, it's nothing special. Okay, it, okay. Really, look. It looks really cool, dude. Look, I, I use did. orbs. I know that orb's not cheap. Yeah, it's it's worth ten gold only, so you don't have to kill me for it. <laughs> oh, we won't kill it's you. It's worth dude. three You're gold. Good. I'm gone, bro. <laughs> okay. It looks really cool, though. Thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right, the, the lobby. Let's let's, let's go up. fuck some people yeah. up. Let's clear the fucking lobby balls. Yes. Oh, that bat is going. What the hell? That bat. That bat. That was fucking weird. Yo, the, the game's glitching, man. Here's the first portal. Yeah, you can take it if you want. I'm gonna try to kill everybody else. Sounds good. Oh, but there's not too many left. Yeah. Call you, brother. All right, good luck, brothers. Good luck. See you good luck. <laughs> He tried it. He tried it. <laughs> uh. 
This is why it's hard to be friendly with super gear. Because, uh... You never know when someone's about to go. Dang, man. That guy hit me with two arrows. He would have one-shotted me with triple shot, man. He hit me with two arrows and I was basically one HP. We took a third of my health each hit. If I wasn't wearing this Giga Chad set, I would have been dead, so... Hello, brothers. I bear a gift. Hmm. Do, do the... A potion of protection hmm. for your travels. Interesting, interesting. I'll think about that. In this fifth game, I don't run into a single person the whole game. To save some time, I put the whole game in a thousand X speed. Enjoy. In this next game, the first half started out similar to the last game, where I didn't run into a single person, but the second half of the game started to ramp up, and I don't know if I was ready. No! I can't believe I died like that. I can't believe I died like that. Ah, oh, that was so dumb. That was so dumb of me. That was such a dumb play by me. Oh, I can't believe I died like that. Oh. I can't believe I died like that. <laughs> oh, well, that's what old tiredness will do to you, I guess. Tiredness, copium. Dude, I played so bad there. I just shouldn't have done any of that. That's so dumb. Ugh. I don't know if you could tell, but uh, I think I was a little upset. Oh, and I uh, I died because I was tired. In all seriousness, though, not to make excuses, but at this point in time, I was awake for over 24 hours because this was the last time I was going to get to play before the wipe happened. So I want to go back over this and give you my thought process, but also how I could have played this a lot better. So initially, I was a little confused when I came in the room and I heard fighting, but then no one was there. And I gotta say, this fighter played this very well because he went all all the way around in storm. I definitely underestimated him because I thought he had to be super low. I mean, he just got done fighting and he just ran all the way around in storm. With hindsight bias, as soon as I heard footsteps, I should have immediately backed off a little bit and did all my buffs. So like ignite, haste, arcane shield, invisibility. I also got a little unlucky with the fireball. It bounced him right towards me. And at that point with no buffs on, no arcane shield, no ignite, I knew it was Jover. I think if I hit him with a direct fireball, the fight would have gone a lot differently. I potentially could have even killed him with a direct fireball. If he wasn't dead from my direct fireball, he definitely would have been dead in the two stabs I later on got on him. But just a little unfortunate circumstances, a little bit of a lazy play, and a good play by him. So with that, it concludes the most Giga Chad wizard in dark and darker. Psych! That's the wrong number. The Giga Chad himself invited me after his game was over and traded back my Giga Chad set. Unfortunately, he didn't pick up my chest, one of the rings, and my boots. The boots are easily replaceable, but the chest and one of the rings is a little bit different story. Regardless though, the Giga Chad wizard lives on.
Also, he traded me a bunch of golden keys, but at this point in the game, they're basically worthless. So I thought that was just kind of funny. So yeah, big shout out to this guy. And with that, I will see you in the next episode of the most giga chat wizard in all of dark and darker. Into the dungeon we go, into the dungeon we go.